Must be due a little luck, 'cause I never asked for much. Lord knows how, but. Flowers for Mrs. Harris is uh, predominantly about a woman's journey. Um, she sees a Christian Dior dress in a client's house. She's a char lady, and by seeing that and the effect it has on her, she realizes she can't stay where she is in life anymore, and she has to let go of her past in order to move forward. It's her moving on in life, letting go of something, um, which I think everyone can relate to. It. Uh, discovering that there is more to life when you think it's enough. The House of Dior have given their approval for us to use all the designs from the specific collection. Um, so that's great. So it's, you know, I think Les Brotherson's had a fabulous time recreating and, and adding his own twist to, to the dresses. And so it will look extraordinary. The main focus of our story are the characters and they are, they are our spectacle. Um, they're so wonderfully written. Every single character, no matter how big and how small, has a real journey that they go on and you know, where they start and where they end are very different places. And that's, as an actor, is a lovely thing to be able to play with. So, um, so there is glamour involved because we enter, a, we enter a world of glamour, which is, you know, when Mrs. Harris Goes and goes on her own journey to, you know, find more. And um, so I don't really want to say too much because where we go is very exciting, and you have to come and see it. <laughs>